Hey Tom, I just wanted to take a second to uh, see if I can explain this with a spine and, uh, and in person. Um, the, one of the complications for me is I've actually got two videos, one uh, you know with the spine is like this and one where the spine is like this and I'm not quite sure which one you're, um, I know you're talking about, I know which one you're talking about but also I don't know exactly what kind of spine your daughter has got so I'm just going to talk about this rotation thing and leave it at that. I haven't heard about the spinal motions becoming uncoupled um, through scoliosis, uh, I could see in a what they call a functional scoliosis, they couple one way. In a structural scoliosis, they couple the other way. Um, I'm talking about a structural scoliosis, so when they side bend to the right, they rotate left, uh, and vice versa. And in a functional scoliosis, I know they, they go side bend and rotate the same way, but we're talking about a structural one. All right, uh, you've got L5 at the bottom of the spine here, and if I take a step forward with my right pelvis, so this is my right side, boom, I have rotated L5 to the left. But L4 effectively has stayed still uh, because the movement is driven from below. So L4 stays still. Now, if you watch my finger here, L4 staying still, L5 is moving to the left. That is exactly the same movement. That movement is the same as if I take L4 and rotate to the right. It's the same movement. So that happening from below, that kind of step forward is the same as this happening from above. So to get relative right rotation between L4 and L5, I can step forward with my right side. Or I can rotate all the way down through every single vertebrae and rotate down to L4 that way. So from above, it's, it's obvious you kind of rotate to the right. But from the below, you rotate to the left to get right rotation at an intervertebral segment. So with that step forward, We've got a little bit of rotation uh, in the L5-S1, a little bit of rotation L4-L5, and so on and so on. Not too worried about the, um, the big SI joints down here. They have a very small amount of rotation. Um, yes, you know, they, they do move, but because we're just stepping bomb like this, that rotation is going to take up very quickly, and then the movement goes into the spine. As you know, we've only got five degrees of rotation, um, or six degrees or something, in the actual lumbar spine itself. You know, each facet has only a couple of degrees. So the lower ro derotation bit is, uh, it, you know, it's, it's important, but I would say the correction in the coronal plane, or what I call the frontal plane, is probably even, even more important. Hope that makes sense. Bye.